two Parisian townhouses, a castle, vast office space in Lyon, and even a stud farm. The list of Rifat al-Assad's French assets was long. So whose money paid for it all? His crimes spanned the period between 1984 and 2016 and include aggravated tax fraud as well as misappropriation of Syrian funds. Ces biens ont été obtenus d'un montant de plusieurs dizaines de millions d'euros, auraient pu être obtenus de manière illicite. Euh, et c'est en, en inadéquation sans doute avec certains postes qu'il a eu auparavant, notamment en tant que vice-président de la Syrie. In June of 2020, a French court found Rafat al-Assad guilty of money laundering and embezzling state funds to acquire some 90 million euros worth of property in France alone. Rafat al-Assad was sentenced to four years in prison, though he avoided being sent to jail because of poor health. And while his assets were registered to companies nestled in offshore tax havens, his defense team claims it all came from Saudi Arabia. Ce n'est pas de l'argent public syrien à l'origine. Au moment de son arrivée en Suisse, avant d'arriver en Syrie, en France. Euh, en France, pardon, il reçoit un soutien financier de la part de ses amis. Nicknamed the butcher of Hama, Rifat al-Assad commanded troops involved in the brutal repression of an uprising in central Syria in the early 80s. He left the country in 1984 after mounting a failed coup against his own brother Hafez, who ruled the country until the year 2000. Two years later, Rifat al-Assad was awarded France's most prestigious distinction, the Legion of Honor, for protecting French interests from Syrian secret services. An award rights groups are now demanding he be stripped of.